All right, guys, so we got to talk about Joey Biden, Brandon's approval rating, the Democrats' approval, and the likelihood of impeachment for Brandon. Now, of course, I don't predict he gets impeached for any of the bullcrap he's doing. I think, you know, that there's a high possibility sometime in his... Um, Second year, he gets replaced by Kamala Harris due to cognitive decline or some other bull honky reason or something like that. Other than that, I don't see Joe Biden being impeached, but we're going to go ahead and compare these numbers, these stats, where Biden is in his approval to where Trump was and why Biden will continue to hammer support and so will the Democrats. So as we have up here, this is President Brandon's job approval as of th this week, last week, something like that. It's recent. The average is 42.7% and the disapprove is about 51%. Now, take this into account when you have the mainstream media fawning over Biden left and right giving him fluff pieces that they literally talked about his socks and fucking dogs when, when he first got into office, saying that Biden is, you know, a, a new miracle and Biden is doing such a great job and whatnot. Biden does not have the same problems like Trump does, and yet Trump's approval rating continued to rise over time, whereas Biden's was high at first, but now was completely crumbling down. And we also have to remember that Democrats, that there are more registered Democrats in the country than there are Republicans. And so all of these little issues that we are facing with inflation, the border crisis, Afghanistan, even though that's an afterthought, and all of these other things that are hurting Biden right now, and especially the down ballot Democrats, you know, it's like what we have in uh, in in Virginia that that lost to Yunkin, where the governor, the, the past Democrat governor, was basically supporting critical race theory. That also hurts Biden and the Democrats, the, the larger Democratic Party as well. Biden's approval will continue to slip further down, and if we go to the generic uh, congressional support we, we see the republicans outnumber the uh democrats by not much but they're still over them and this should scale the hell out of democrats again because there are more registered democrats in the country than there are republicans and most independents in the country i would think would lean more to a democratic side than a republican side if this continues during the midterms, which I think it will because I think Biden's fumbling his foolishness and his gaffes will continue. Inflation is already set to continue, which is going to hurt Biden even further. Inflation is, is, is Biden's biggest uh, sticking point right now because it hurts everybody. Everybody, if, uh, inflation hurts everybody. Democrat, Republican alike, it hurts you. And unless you're like a rich Democrat or a rich Republican. Otherwise, you know, it, it doesn't really affect you. But everybody else in the country, inflation is going to affect them. That, that, that is a domestic issue. Just like the border crisis, but it's, it's a little less of a, a crisis in, in terms of like the northern states and non-border uh, non, non states. You know, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and stuff like that. Other states that don't border with Mexico don't really have that issue, so it's it's not really an issue for them. But inflation is going to continue to hurt Biden and slow bleed him out of support. And then you have Kamala Harris over here basically saying that uh, Joe Biden's inflation um, is not really a bad thing. And their almost two trillion dollar more money spent will fix that. Basically, this is, this is what the article goes on to say. 
uh, Vice President Kamala Harris said Friday that inflation is a source of stress for families due to the high cost of food and gas, but claimed President Biden's nearly $2 trillion social spending bill would fix the problem. It's like, it's, it's like these people don't understand economics or that they are completely lying to our fucking faces, and I honestly believe the latter. I don't believe someone like Kamala Harris is ignorant on the fact of what in what happens when when you print money. She she's not ignorant of the fact. She knows exactly what happens when you print, you know, trillions of dollars worth of money. People even in Biden's cabinet was saying that inflation is going to continue until mid-June and now with another 2 trillion dollars being printed out that might even last until August or September of 2022. So we could have an entire year of nonstop inflation, rising costs, and so on and so forth. And how do you think that's going to hurt Biden's approval? I think it's going to slam dunk him. And remember, Biden has the mainstream media fawning over him. Biden has the legacy media, the FBI, all these other people trying to protect his presidency however they can do. You have the tech firms like YouTube and stuff like that taking off the dislike button so, so you don't you know slam the White House's official YouTube channel and whenever Biden speaks he gets ratioed. They are doing everything in their power to trying to help Biden as much as they can and that's still faltering. Biden's approval is still cratering. And the Democrats, it, it's even worse for them. Democrats, especially with their supporting of fucking critical race theory, is hurting the Democratic Party even worse. This is what the Democrats don't understand, and this is something they're going to double down on, and that, that what we see what these Democrats do, and a lot of them are doubling down on this critical race theory crap. And Biden, of course, is oblivious of everything because he just, you know, sits around in the, the White House all day eating fucking ice cream and not really caring until someone gets him out of the White House, pumps him full of some dementia medication and puts him on stage. Other than that, I don't, I don't think he really, he, he really is aware of what's going on in the country. He, he's literally a puppet. We all know this. But impeachment? No, I, I don't see that being on the table. I do see a possibility of him resigning for, for various reasons, either because his approval gets too low, but Kamala Harris's approval and is down in the in the 30s and 20s. If you don't think people like Biden, people really don't like her. So it's like, good God. But there, there is a silver lining to this, and this is with this generic c congressional vote, is that if this inflation continues on into the midterms, which I believe it will, the Democrats will continue to double down on critical race theory and issues the American people don't give a shit about. They will continue to lose support. Biden will continue to lose support. And this does show in the, in the support, as we see right now, the average Republicans taking over. And that is damning because, again, Democrats, registered Democrats outnumber uh, registered Republicans nationwide. That just scale the hell out of them. And so if this continues, you, we, we might see an entire sweep, an entire wed wave, there's just like with the Tea Party, of Republicans taking over the House and Senate, and then they can either move, uh, move forward replacing Biden, which I don't think they will do that, but he will be a lame duck at that period, at that time. So for the next two years after the midterms, Biden will be a lame duck, won't do shit, and just sit there eating uh, ice cream in the White House. That would be the best case scenario for our country as Biden does fucking nothing. The Democrats do fucking nothing. That would be the best case scenario for our country because then, then they won't be fucking it up like they are now. As terms of the impeachment, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't, I don't think the, uh, the, the Republicans are going to go forward with that. I mean, if you, if you replace the rhinos with a bunch of populist, Trump populists, maybe, but that, that is even a far stretch. But I think the best case scenario 
the Republicans come in the midterms, wipe out the Democrats, take the House and Senate back, even by a slim majority, and then stonewall Biden until 2024, which hope, hopefully Trump will likely run again, which I think is a high possibility. Either way, you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this in the comment section. Peace out.